Hello everyone, today I will introduce our CVPR 2023 paper, MSD Fusion, Fusing LiDAR and Camera at Multiple Skills with Multi-Depth Seeds for 3D Object Detection. Uh, today I will introduce our paper in the following three parts. The first one is the background, the second one we will present our methodology, and lastly we will present some experimental results. First, let's introduce the background. LiDAR and camera are two sensors widely equipped on autonomous driving cars. For example, the nuisance cars have one LiDAR and six cameras, while the Waymo cars have four LiDARs and five cameras. These sensors provide drastically different signals in representing the environment as shown below. Point cloud collected by the LiDAR has accurate spatial measurements, but gets sparse with the increasing distance. Images collected by the camera capture rich semantics, but estimating depth from images is a long-standing ill-posed problem. Therefore, making the best of the two worlds can benefit reliable environment perception. Existing LiDAR camera fusion methods can be roughly categorized into two paradigms. The first one projects LiDAR points to the camera images and collect useful RGB semantics from for enhancement. We call it L2C. The second one lifts camera pixels to LiDAR frame with the help of the depth estimation. We call it C2L. Compared with C2L methods, L2C has more accurate position projection, but with informative dense image semantics because of the sparsity of the LiDAR points. And we also list some representatives in these two paradigms. Here we compare the performances of the L2C and C2L methods, which demonstrates that two paradigms perform competitively. While the L2C is more popular recently because it is convenient to process the LiDAR and camera signals in a shared BEV space. Then I will present our methodology. The C2L methods generally select seeds from the image plane and leave them to 3D space. The granularity of the seeds include raw pixel level and feature grid level. Obviously, pixel level seeds maintain the geometric accur accuracy, but require downsampling due to the computation limitation, while the feature level seeds have better semantic, uh, semantic uh, description and can be densely lifted due to the downsample. However, existing C2L methods ignore the depth information in lifting seeds and fine grain the cross model interaction in the voxel space is also non-trivial. On the one hand, the depth directly determines the accurate spatial locations of the generated virtual points. On the other hand, depth can provide color insensitive cues like the instance boundary. Toward this end, we propose MSD Fusion, which first provides a multi-scale fusion framework for comprehensive LiDAR geometrics and camera semantics interaction. Besides, the depth reliability is also enhanced in the proposed uh, multi-depth on projection strategy. And lastly, a fine-grained LiDAR camera interaction operation in the voxel space is designed to, uh, to filter the noises from the camera virtual points. Uh, the overall framework of the MSMD Fusion is shown below. The multi-scale camera features are lifted to the voxel, uh, voxel space with different resolutions. And, uh, are and further communicated with the uh, LiDAR features in each resolution. Uh, Multi-model uh, multi features from each scale are further fused to provide a stronger BEV feature for the subsequent prediction. Here we introduce the details of the MTU. When estimating depths from our camera pixels, previous work like MVP uses the nearest neighbor retrieval strategy as shown in the figure A. Although effective, such estimation ignores the fact that the spatial proximity in 2D images is not always consistency with that in the 3D space. Therefore, we present the key nearest retrieval for more reliable depth estimation. As for the GMEC, well, we notice that the lifted seeds are generally noisy due to the inaccurate depth estimation and thus need to be further filtered. However, Designing a fine-grained cross-model interaction operation is largely restricted by the huge computation and memory cost. 
and we also provide a rough complexity estimation for conventional attention-based operations. It can be seen that they are both intractable in 3D voxel space. As shown in the figure in the first row below, we split voxels into three groups according to their included modalities of information. For voxels with both LiDAR and camera features, we extract the LiDAR and camera components and use LiDAR information as guidance to filter included the camera information with the gating operation. For voxels with only camera features, we retrieve the nearest LiDAR voxels as guidance for filter. Uh, since such retrieval is computation expensive, we further devise a, uh, an approximation retrieval strategy as shown in the figure of the last row. Uh, specifically, we apply furthest point sampling strategy on camera virtual points considering its redundancy, then perform the retrieval process. Lastly, the selected camera virtual points distribute the retrieved guiding light of voxels to its neighbors. Here we present our MSD fusion performances on the new scenes detection and tracking benchmark. And the results prove that our method achieved both state-of-the-art performances among two benchmarks. We also compare the number of the generated virtual points of our MSMT fusion and other two C2L methods, namely two BV fusion methods. Even with fewer uh, virtual points, our methods still outperform them. To intuitively illustrate the generated virtual points of our MTU, we visualize some examples below. Uh, by comparing the second column and the third column, we can observe that our MDU can capture more geometric details of the object. Uh, thanks for your listening. Uh, the paper and the code can be avail uh, can be accessed by the uh, through the uh, link below, and our code has been publicly available. Thank you.